Continuing our series on the Columbus housing crunch today, we're focusing on affordable housing. The Department of Housing and Urban Development or HUD defines affordable housing as spending 30% or less of a household's income on rent or a mortgage. Think about that for a second. How much of your income goes toward housing? Well, multiple studies show right now Central Ohio is missing the mark on affordable housing. Affordable in Columbus, if you say 30% of your income is what you're supposed to be paying on your mortgage or your rent is laughable like that. You can't find a place like that. In an ever expanding region like Central Ohio, the housing bubble is bursting. We're predicting 3.15 million people in Central Ohio by 2050. Uh, and that can look different depending on the decisions we make today. The solution's easy, right? Just build more affordable homes. The reality is if you look at most of the other suburbs around the city of Columbus, they do not want affordable housing. I talked with Skip Weiler from the Robert Weiler Company. They're part of a nonprofit organization specifically targeting affordable housing construction. Developers, the city, the community, everybody needs to do more. And the city of Columbus is really ahead of it, but it's still, I don't think, enough. Weiler says a lot of towns will simply put too many standards on building projects, driving prices so high that they're no longer financially feasible. Another way of saying, not in my backyard. Pretty much every zoning meeting I go to, somebody says we don't want, which is really a sad mentality for the country. And I think it's short-sighted, but, uh, but they're selfish people. According to data from the Coalition on Homelessness and Housing in Ohio, the national average is 34 available affordable rental units for every 100 extremely low income renters. Columbus falls well below that national average at 26 units. That gap shows us that we're woefully underbuilt and that we have to start building more housing all across the state of Ohio, from our big cities to our smallest farm communities. According to a survey by the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission, 38% of Central Ohio residents say they cannot find suitable, affordable housing. We see numbers which are truly heartbreaking. When I see people are sacrificing food, 49% of folks saying they're sacrificing food to pay their rent or their mortgage. And we're working with municipal governments, local governments, and say work with us in removing barriers, artificial barriers often, that may exist that prevent developers from investing and creating affordable housing. Those barriers include city zoning regulations, which restrict where multi-unit housing can be built. We've reported on the Columbus Initiative called Community Reinvestment Areas, where the city is offering 15-year property tax abatements to builders. Columbus is considering a zoning overhaul with the goal to build 88,000 residences in the next 10 years. With Intel and all the, all the companies moving to Columbus, and there are too many people coming for this many Many units are being produced. Government will not be able to solve this. Our employers plus our schools, everyone has to sit around the table and say, how do I help people live and thrive within my community? Another note from that Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission uh, study, uh, more than 55% of the respondents in that study said that uh, they're sacrificing or making late payments for at least mm. one necessity in their life in order to pay their rent or their mortgage. It is simply not sustainable. And as Skip Weiler said there, with the Intel investment here yeah. and with all of the new investments coming to Central Ohio, we're upside down yeah. and we're not trending well at the moment. Oh, just such a heartbreaking reality. We know that growth is going to continue to happen, especially over the next decade, thing. which is a great thing. Yes. But we need to make space for people yep. to live and not just survive, but thrive we'll here as well. We'll continue to follow up on it. Absolutely.